He's just a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. He wasn't good enough for her. But now he's a YouTuber making so Whoa! <laughs> oh, 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 I need, I need a medic. Uh -huh. Bon ami, I have come to give you the healing like a, a baguette croissant. <laughs> Stop it, man. That was offensive last time. It's offensive now. You just gotta stop with the accents, dude. Sorry, I'm just trying out this new character, Baptiste. He's a healer, but like also DPS. Um, I, I, I gotta figure out how he works, but I'm gonna give you some heals now, okay? So give me a sec. Oh, oh, that, that's supposed to heal? <laughs> oh. Wait, sorry, uh, let me try again. Okay. That's just the same one. I'm so sorry, man. Just what what button is it? I just help me help you. Just which one of these do I have to press to actually heal you? No, no. Forget it, man. I'm just gonna get Lucio. I'm gonna get Lucio to heal me. Wait, no, stop. Hey, hey, that worked. Feeling better already. Thanks, Bupties. You're not that bad. Haha, <laughs> oui, oui. I am the best baguette. <laughs> Stop with the accents, man. We finally did it, boys. Overwatch has managed to get to 30 heroes, and the newest hero is a healer, yes! Finally, Jesus Christ, it's been so long since we had a new healer. And the last healer broke the game before, so maybe this healer can save the game? We'll find out. Hero number 30 is Baptiste. Or Baptiste, is it? I don't really know how to pronounce I'm not French, how do you? Let me look it up real quick. Baptiste. Ah, okay. Batiste is the newest Overwatch hero, and unfortunately during the Omnic Crisis, his family died and he became an orphan. With basically nothing left, he turned to Talon and became a medic for them. But after realizing that Talon, you know, this Talon, you know the Talon that has Doomfist, that has Reaper, that has Widowmaker, you know, the, the bad guys? Yeah. After he realized that they're not the best, he decided to leave them, which is, you know, against Talon rules. So now, his former strike team is after him, but a part of me feels like he's gonna join Overwatch. Will he end up joining Overwatch? Stay tuned. But my biggest question is this. Will he ever get his hair to look how it looks when he was younger? Because, oh my gosh, he looks like Killmonger, and that's tight. Anyway, that's basically the story of Baptiste so far. But now that we know who he is, let's learn how to play him, shall we? Who is ton papa? Baptiste has the Biotic Launcher. This gun shoots in 3 round bursts and does anywhere from 37.5 to 75 damage per burst, all the way up to 40 meters. And his gun is also a hit scan. Because he's a hit scan, that means you can actually kill Pharahs in the air. Unlike some supports. <clears throat> now, his gun isn't the strongest gun in the world. I mean, tanks, they may not be too bothered by it, but on the bright side, it has 45 shots, which is a lot. So just spam that gun until you get the kill. You'll eventually get it. Any day now. But I know why you're here. We're not here to hear about a DPS character. You want to learn about a support. So where's his support? Well, his secondary fire is where he truly shines. He shoots healing grenades out of his grenade launcher looking thing and it heals 60 health in a 3 meter radius. And he's got 10 of them. You should definitely use this when your team is all bunched up in a group. Like when you're stuck in a room somewhere with your team, just spam it on the floor and you're gonna heal the entire team and you'll probably get your ultimate really quickly. Holy crap! <laughs> I'm just healing so much! Okay, ready? Check this out, check this out. Oh, you have ult already? You can safely heal from a distance like a budget Ana. If you can aim like a pro, you know, like me, you can even heal your Pharah in the air. And on top of that, if you reload your weapon, it also reloads your healing grenades. Sadly, it does not self-heal, so you'll need to use your other ability to heal yourself, aka the regenerative burst. Oh my god, I can't pronounce that. Regenerative burst. I'm just gonna call it boom. So the boom, it's pretty straightforward. You just heal yourself and your allies in a radius of 10 10 meters. It's like Lucio, but it only lasts for 5 seconds. If you combine this with this healing grenade launcher, it allows for you to heal at an extremely fast pace. But remember, you'll need to use it wisely. It's your only way to self-heal. 
So don't waste it, you noob. Oh. Bro, you gotta keep your I need up. healing! I need healing! They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So if you saw Batiste's design, you saw his boots, and you were probably like, What are those? Well, they are exo boosters, thanks for asking. And they allow for Batiste to jump really high. We're talking like Michael Jordan height. And there's no cooldown on it. All you gotta do is charge it by crouching and then boom, you're jumping as high as you want all the way up into space. Here's what Jeff Kaplan had to say about these boots. You jump very high into the air. As a support player, you need some way to disengage enemies, so it's a good You should use these boots to get to the high ground and shoot people from above. Or if people are already in the high ground, you can use it as a means to flank them and just kill them. I got him! Jump over walls. Ahem. I said jump over walls. This is this is why Trump shouldn't build a wall. This is the exact reason. They're just gonna build. They're just gonna build rocket boots. Batiste has an immortality field. Yes, immortality. It's like Blizzard doesn't even care about balance anymore. We don't balance here, okay? That's just not our motto. This is our motto. All joking aside, the immortality field is not as broken as it sounds. For 9 seconds, it prevents anyone from dropping below 10% on your team. Your team can be damaged, and the actual device can also be destroyed. <laughs> the device has 250 health, which sounds like a lot, I mean that's a whole May that you have to kill, but it gets destroyed pretty easily. And you can get knocked out of the immortality field, either by getting hooked, getting boobed, getting charged off, so it's not that broken. They destroy it so fast! It's important to know that EMP gets rid of your immortality field completely, and Bob actually targets the thing first. But if you time it correctly, you can save your entire team from enemy ults. But you may be wondering, which ultimates can it save you from? Meteor Strike! It's pretty strong. Batiste Ultimate is the Amplification Matrix. When your team shoots through the Matrix, damage is increased by 100%. That's a lot of damage! And it also amplifies healing through it by 100%. So, Animains, if you see this, just start shooting through it, okay? It only lasts 8 seconds and it cannot be destroyed except by an EMP. You could put ultimates in doorways or in the choke, and it makes the enemies pretty easy to kill. You can combine it with the Ryan and Orisa barrier so that you can actually protect your team while shooting through it. Oh, the ultimate's broken! Because even though it looks like a shield, it's not a shield. Just don't accidentally place it where no one can use it, like I did a lot. There's no one to shoot! <laughs> Seeing as Batiste isn't even out on the live servers, and I have the ability to play him before all of my console players, by definition, this would make me one of the best, if not the best, Batiste player in the world. So you're gonna want to listen to my pro tips I got for you. Number 1. Batiste works best in a bunker composition, which is an Orisa and a Bastion and three other people, constantly healing and protecting Bastion with the Immortality Shield, so he never dies. This is also known as Protect the President. The best part is when you have an ultimate ready, it's like a dream for Bastions. Yeah, they're over here just pointing heads and they're just dying. It's just like, brruh, brruh, 
dead, dead. It's amazing. Number two, he also can work well in goats, which if you don't know what goats is, it's three healers and three tanks that has dominated the competitive scene for quite some time now. And a lot of people are pretty annoyed and bored of it and they want this meta to die. It was said that you would destroy this. Goats. Not join them. But this may change since Blizzard just added a bunch of nerfs and buffs to characters that may shift the meta, but who knows, only time will tell. Until then, if goats is still alive, Batista is gonna help it. Number three, don't spam the exo boosters too much because it makes you jump in a pretty obvious direction. You're just going up and going down kind of slowly. It makes you an easy pick for enemy Widowmakers. Number four, so as Batiste, you should try to put your immortality field in a place where nobody can shoot it, like behind a wall or behind a pillar. Number five, you can even throw it from far away to save a teammate last second. It doesn't have to always be for you, Batiste. Don't be selfish. In terms of viability, I believe that Batiste will be pretty useful in most compositions, but he definitely will require a lot more skill than most healers. He's not like Brigida where you don't have to aim, and he's not like other healers where they can heal by just being around. He actually has to aim his healing a good amount, so for that reason alone, his difficulty for noobs would be kind of in the medium range. But what do you guys think? Do you think he's overpowered, underpowered, balanced? You know what to do. Let me know in the comments below. If you want more of these videos, just comment it. I'll catch you later, you noob. You're bad. <laughs> what the hell? Jeez. Play sickle mode. <laughs> Play sweet victory. No, sickle mode's better. We all know this. Play mo bomba. Play mo sickle bomba mode. Oh my god. <laughs>